Hi everyone, Vacha here for Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. Today I was mixing and doing the final mixes of a client of mine and I thought I'll share this idea with you and so that you can actually use it in your Studio 1 as well. And whether if it's the, uh, the prime artist or professional, they're all the same. And the idea is to uh, pack your tracks into folders. As you can see, this is not a really big project. It's only got 20 tracks here, but it makes it really, really easy with what I'm going to show you when we pack things into folders. So having a look at the, uh, the tracks, I've got the drum tracks right here and then some percussions, bass, and then some rhythm guitars and some lead guitars, the piano and the lead vocals. Um, so let's have a quick listen to uh, what it sounds like so far. Okay, so that's the track. That's Mama Honus from Sign Alls, so from UK. So let's get into the things. We can see there's got lots of tracks here, but you're going to see something that's going to happen when I actually do this. And we look at the mix now. As you can see, it's all reduced. So I've got all my tracks going into buses, obviously. I like um, buses. It makes life really, really easy. So... How do we actually get those into folders? As you can see, there's a folder sign. I can open it, and underneath the folder, I can see all the tracks for the guitars, and I call that rhythm guitars. And I'll put all the rhythm guitars under there, and I've got folder for leads, and all my leads, like lead guitars and saxophones and pianos, are all in there. Uh, same with vocals. So uh, I'll show you how we can do with the drums because I, I had it and I had to uh, uh, undo it so that I can show, show you how it, it happens. So you click the first track, and the last track, while holding down the Shift key, you left-click to select all the tracks. And once you've done that, you can right-click and say Pack Folder right there. Now everything is under the folder, so when we open it, all the drum tracks are under there. Now that I've got all my levels mixed and everything for the drums done, all automation and everything, I don't really need to see all the tracks together. So I can pack them into a folder. And let's just name this as drums. So now they're right there. So let's pack that. Let's close them all up. So now nice and easy for me to see uh, the song. So when it's playing, well, mama sit down and wears out the weed. People come and go, they are stoned as they leave. Yeah, they as you can see, uh, it's much easier. And when I go into my mix, all I see is my buses because anything on the folder, I set it not to show it. So now I can expand and now I can do my final mix with my buses because all automation and leveling has already been done. This is the final mix before it goes out to mastering. That's how you can do it. Hope this was easy tip for you. And uh, if you liked it, give me the thumbs up. And, um, and don't forget uh, to subscribe. That way, small tips like this, uh, I also share them with you. Let's get uh, Sire Knowles to uh, take us out. Yeah, Till next time, have a great time we'll making music. Get